in the videos of development length you have calculated already how much development length need to be provided to keep your reinforcement in place against the applied tensile or compressive force by the codal provision or your calculated theoretical calculated uh, equation because both are same as you can see here you have to provide the development length in your structure now say this is your beam column junction and you have to uh, provide the development length for this beam say for more clumsy drawing i have simplified it here so this is your beam and say this is the tension force applied on this bar due to the applied moment okay and say development length up to this is the beam so this is your section here the tension is applied maximum tension is applied here and you have to provide the development length from this point you cannot end your bar here what will happen in that case it will simply come out from your member that's why you have to to keep your reinforcement in place you have to provide some development say from the equation of ld the length is this much okay now the total width of your column is this much so where you will provide this length outside the column have you ever seen in any building or any uh, structure that there is uh, reinforcement outside of the element or beam or column no it is not provided like that you have to simply bend it you have to bend the remaining length like this so similarly for compression also the reinforcement will pro uh, development length will be provided from this point again you have to bend like this towards downward so this is the proper way to provide your development length in any beam column junction in this structural drawing snap you can see here also this is the bottom reinforcement and this is not end here this go up to the point and again it go upward up to this point similarly for top reinforcement is same you have to be very much careful during the prov uh, provision of this bend why say this is the floor okay now during casting what happens you normally cast up to this length now for this bottom reinforcement the development length may come up to this point so later you cannot provide like that you have to initially insert this okay and the reinforcement will be exposed to the atmosphere just like the reinforcement of column and later you will cast it okay now the question is how much bend length is required how much this length is totally depend on a factor this factor is known as your anchorage length so what is anchor length you may be familiar with the term in case of boat or ship it need to be anchor anchor means any boat or any ship need to be anchor so that the water flow cannot pull it away from the shore that's why anchor is provided okay anchor simply resistance its movement when the boat is not in use similarly the anchor is provided in reinforcement also why the anchor is mainly provided by bend or hook and here this is written what is this if ld is sufficient no need of anchor length suppose for this bottom reinforcement your development length requirement is up to here so there is no necessary for providing your anchor in the form of this bend you may not provide it because you have already provided the development length and development length is everything in the case where there is no space for development length you just simply bend it and that bend in turn provide as anchor but in case of mild steel what happen in case of mild steel there is no rib 
just compared to deformed bar so what happens there is a risk that the mild steel can slip away that's why in case of mild steel always provide a bend or a hook now what is bend and what is hook i'll just uh, discuss in sort of while so till now what we have discussed what is development length and how to provide the development length when there is no provision or no space for development length we simply bend it like this and this bend in turns act as a anchor so there is nothing like uh, differently we have to provide some anchor development length is the basic key if there is no quest you have to provide a bend this bend is known as anchor clear now how this anchor is provided either you have to bend it or you have to hook when i have to uh, say bend and when i have to say hook when you have bend this is the original shape now you have bend it like this that means 180 degree in that case your bend is known as hook okay except this every bend is known as bend for example this is a 90 degree bend and what should be this length this anchor length so for a 90 degree or anything there is a provision in code as per indian standard for every 45 degree bend you have to provide this length as four times of diameter of bar so in the case what should be the answer or what should be this anchor length can you answer just calculate this is 90 degree okay and for each 45 this is 4 so total will be your 8d this is the length for this bend okay and for hook how much total 4 times 45 degree and only then 108 come that's why total 16 times of diameter this is the reason why these values are provided in your bar bending schedule which you have calculated in case of stirrup you have seen that this type of syrup you have to provide this much length do you know the length this length should be 12 times of diameter why 12 times let's see if this is the stirrup you bend it like this in the figure also you can see it should go like this but you bend like this so what is this angle 90 degree plus 45 degree 135 degree is the angle so total 3 into 4 4 times of dia for each 45 in case 135 means 3 into 45 so 3 into 4 times dia total 12d that's why during calculation of your bar bending schedule you provide extra 24d why 24d we just calculated 12d that is there are there are two anchor that's why 2 into 12 24d this is all about your anchor length in the next video i will discuss about the lap length